Are you listening? Come on, man. Breakthrough Media. I didn't watch much of the impeachment circus, but I found this clip of Trump's lawyer just completely torching the media, sticking it to them with truth. Take a look. The media has to start telling the right story in this country. The media is trying to divide this country. You are bloodthirsty for ratings. And as such, you're asking questions now that are already uh, uh, set up with a fact pattern. I can't believe you would ask me a question indicating that it's all right just to doctor a little bit of evidence. And the media should be looking that at a square straight way. A straight way. When I watch the news, I watch one station and it's raining. I watch another station at the same time and it's sunny. Your coverage is so slanted, it's got to stop. You guys have to stop and start reporting more like PBS does rather than uh, 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 a TV news show that doesn't have any journalistic integrity at all. What I'm telling you is that they doctored evidence. And I believe your question says, well, it's only a Twitter check and, a, and changing a year of a date here. They switched the date of a Twitter a year to try to connect it to this case. That's not a small thing, ma'am. The other thing they did is they put Sorry. a check mark on something to, to make it look like it was a validated account when it wasn't. And when they were caught, they didn't say anything about it. They didn't even try to come up with an excuse about it. And that's not the way our prosecutors or our government officials should be conducting themselves. And the media shouldn't be letting them get away with it either. I'm tired of the biased media on both sides, left and right. What this country wants, what this country needs, is this country to come together, to take the left and the right and find a middle ground and start responsibly being our public officials, our elected officials. And, the new, and the re, one of the reasons why they do it is because of the media because the media wants to tell their narrative rather than just telling it like it is. And frankly, I'm tired of it. I'm not a media, I'm not in front of your cameras all the time, uh, but what right. I've been subjected Sir, I, to I, I, this I last week. I understand, I yeah. understand, and I've given you, don't you the opportunity. You want to hear the truth, yeah. Okay. I've given you the opportunity. I, I will remind you that what I said was that for our viewers who have not been following all of the hours of of this trial, mm -hmm. to be clear about what you what you are speaking about. <laughs> She's so fake. It's insane. When somebody comes on television and gives something authentic and passionate and real that you can feel, it's like they're part of the Truman Show. They're paid actors to just <laughs> back to the programming. <laughs> Remember what we said. Remember what you saw on television. Close your eyes. Remember what you saw on television. Close your eyes. Close your eyes, remember what you saw on television. It's sickening. He's totally right. All they do is divide. All they do is lie. All they do is bias. And no matter what the truth is, they just don't care. I have my feelings about Trump and Biden, but regardless of what I think, I just don't have it in me to act like these people. If I think what Trump is doing is right, I'm just gonna say it. If I think what Trump is doing is wrong, I'm gonna say it. If I think what Biden is doing is wrong, I'm gonna say it. If I don't like Biden, but he does something that I agree with, I'm just gonna say it. I couldn't do what they do. They're so fake. They have hurt humanity so much with their lies, division, and constant fear mongering. It's nice to see somebody go on television and stick it to them. It's like if I reported, this guy torched the media. Breaking news, he said, torch, torch, reminds me of Charlottesville, torch fire, insurrection, oh my gosh, he's part of it, he's inciting violence. This is the type of reporting that they do. Meanwhile, they say 20 times crazier stuff, and when they do it, they just act like it didn't happen. They're such hypocrites, they have such double standards, they have such bad energy. You have won the acquittal of your client. Yes, and if I you'd did. like to continue to talk about this conversation, we can have that discussion. I don't need but, to. Uh, but for me to ask a question, a, a, slant, a, question a slanted question, a slanted question that was set up question. to say it's okay for them to cheat. That was your question. Isn't it okay for that. them to cheat? I didn't it's say just that. a little bit. You no. said to be fair, it was it's only fine. a check on the Twitter. Not... That's what you said. You got to live by your words. I, uh, That's I, the problem. The media has to start living by the truth and not try All to create right. a narrative. Michael Vanderveen. 
Yep. Thank you for Citizen. joining us. I, I do appreciate. Yep. Okay. Uh, I, I see you taking off your microphone now. That was President Trump's defense attorney. How could people watch this programming? It's like she was malfunctioning, hearing somebody so honest and so real say something to her audience, like back to the programming, back to your scheduled programming. Don't believe him, don't let that in you. My goodness, he's totally right. And I've been watching older stuff, older news segments and older debates. And in the modern era, it's way, way worse. They are such masterful liars. They're such masterful propagandists. They know how to bring a guest on and just interrupt them constantly, trying to make them look bad at every turn. This is why I don't watch television. And what makes it even worse is when people like myself come along, it should be no surprise to them why I'm doing bigger numbers on the internet. I don't act as insane as them. I try to make it interesting. I try to not drag on too much. I try to be fair and call out both sides when I agree and disagree. They don't do that at all. So then what they do is major media gets together with Facebook, Google, and Twitter and starts rigging things against people like myself, funneling all the opportunities and advertising towards themselves, making it nearly impossible for me to monitor my videos or compete with them when they rig the algorithms and shut down my page for reasons that they couldn't explain because they're total liars. They're total power hungry control freaks. I don't know how these people live with themselves being so fake, being so arrogant, and in many cases being just completely evil. I would love to have a debate with these people, but they don't want to debate. They want to shut down and stifle all their competition so they look like they're the king of the castle with their corporate media contract and they have unlimited tricks and ways to do it. I'll be back with more videos. Let me know what you think in the comments section. I appreciate you. Sign up to my Telegram chat, t.me slash dream rare chat or search dream rare chat. Instagram at dream rare. If you go to my Telegram, you can find my YouTube and my Facebook and BitChute and all that. And thank you to everybody on patreon.com slash rare talk. Even if you just give $5 a month, I appreciate it. It really adds up. And it's the reason I'm able to pump out so many videos. If it weren't for Patreon and things like Facebook supporters, I wouldn't be able to be here because a lot of these people try to demonize monetize me and that's part of their strategy. They have billion dollar corporations behind them and if someone comes along independently, they know how to rig things against them and cut their revenue to make it so they can't afford to compete. But I can thanks to people supporting on Patreon and other things, so thanks so much. And also dreamrare.com, I have pink hats available for a limited time and some cool shirts too. Check it out. Have a good one and I'll be back soon. I'm way too jack for the gulag. I'm just y'all like I'm just the moon man. Is he talking MTV a la Luna? The more they show, it's looking like the true man. Get what I'm saying? Everything is zoomed in. Left, right, trap. They set it up like a crew man. I'll be too good at rapping not to do this. Got 600 million views without the music. Hey, <gasps> messing with me? Y'all don't really want to start. I got soul and spirit in my heart. My mind faster, sharper than the dark. I ain't got a part. Americana, I'm a legend. I'ma stay until it's heaven. I would rather go out on my feet than have to bow down to the devil. I will not settle. We were some immigrants. Now we some very, very lucky citizens. Way too jack for the gulag. Available now on Spotify, Apple Music, and anywhere music is found. Search way too jack for the gulag and make sure you subscribe to Anomaly on music platforms as well. through media.